One dessert that I must make every winter is a massive batch of cinnamon rolls. Now traditionally soft cinnamon rolls are made with eggs but since I don't want anyone to miss out on this winter essential I'm doing a different version today which is eggless. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to activate the yeast. I'm going to start by adding some warm milk into a bowl. Now the temperature of the milk is very very important. If the milk is too hot it'll kill the yeast and if it's too cold it'll not activate the yeast. So what I like to do is I dip my finger into the milk and if it feels nice and warm it means it's good to go. Now into the milk I am going to add a yeast and some caster sugar. I'll give everything a quick mix and then let this sit on the counter for about 10 minutes until the yeast becomes bubbly and foam. So the yeast mixture looks good and I can now start adding the other ingredients. I'm first adding maida which is all purpose flour. All 4.5 cups of it goes in. Now into this I'm also adding a teaspoon of salt and some melted butter. I'm using regular salted butter. Now using a wooden spoon, I'm going to give this a good mix until my dough comes together and it's absolutely fine if your dough doesn't look extremely smooth. Alright, so the dough is ready. Now onto this, I'm going to drizzle some vegetable oil and then gently rub the surface. This is just to ensure that my dough doesn't form a dry film while it's resting. Let's cover it with a damp cloth and now the dough can rest in a warm place for about one hour or until it doubles in size. While our dough is resting, let's get the work started on the cinnamon filling which according to me is the most beautiful part. To make this, you only need three ingredients. So in a bowl, I'm going to add some salted softened butter, brown sugar and the star ingredient which is cinnamon. And now all I need to do is to cream everything together using my Morphe Richards hand blender. It fits very comfortably in the grip of my hand and allows me to move effortlessly. Alright, so the cinnamon filling is ready. Now let's go check on the dough. So my dough has proved and it's doubled in volume. This looks good. We can now start shaping the cinnamon rolls. To shape the cinnamon rolls, I'll first dust the surface of my kitchen counter with some maida. Let's transfer the dough onto this. I'll now roll it out into a rectangular shape which is about half an inch in thickness. This looks good and now onto this, let's spread the cinnamon filling that we made earlier. Now from the length of our rectangular dough, I am going to start rolling our cinnamon rolls into a log. Now using a dental floss, I will cut this log into individual rolls. You could also do this with a knife, but using a dental floss will give you cleaner layers. I'm going to arrange these in a baking dish and they need to proof again for about 30 minutes. Alright, so I only have 15 minutes of proofing left and I'm going to use this time to preheat my oven. I'll be using my Morphe Richards 52 RCSS oven and to preheat it, I'm going to set the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius and the timer knob which ranges from 0 to 120 minutes to 15 minutes. So my cinnamon rolls have proved for the second time and before I put them in the oven, I'll brush them lightly with some milk. Now these go into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes. You know, one of my favorite parts about baking is to watch my desserts magically rise and transform in the oven. The mirror finish door of my Morphe Richards oven ensures I can do just that without actually having to open the door again and again. Alright, so the cinnamon rolls have baked fully and my kitchen smells absolutely amazing. 
The turbo convection setting in the oven allows my cinnamon rolls to bake evenly and get that beautiful golden color on top which I think is a definite must. And while my cinnamon rolls are still warm, I'm going to spread a generous amount of cream cheese frosting on top. I'm super happy with how light and fluffy my cinnamon rolls have turned out even without using eggs. And now I have a challenge for Deva to make gingerbread cookies. A classic Christmas dessert but without using the main ingredient which is ginger. I'm super excited to see what she does but that's not it. I'm also giving a challenge to you guys where you stand a chance to win some amazing Morphe Richards products. If you have a recipe that you're proud of, upload an amazing picture of it using the hashtag ultimate Christmas challenge. Tag me at Shivay17, Morphe Richards India and passionate about baking. Do share the recipe of that dessert in the caption and all the details of the contest will also be available in the caption below. So participate now and I'll see you guys next week with another recipe. Happy baking!